welcome back to my channel guys thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join my growing family here on youtube and i also want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have already subscribed to my channel we have surpassed 200 subscribers and for me this is a milestone because i started at zero and yes so thank you guys so much for the support thank you for all the positive comments thank you for liking this video thank you for sharing it and thank you for supporting me in whatever way you have been supporting me i truly appreciate it guys so for today's look i filmed a neon makeup look i actually did this in collaboration with my friend Brittany danielle i will be linking her channel in my description box down below so you guys can go ahead and check her out guys go ahead and show her some love and yes so if you are liking what you see thus far guys what are you waiting for go ahead and give this video a thumbs up give us a huge thumbs up guys and without further ado enough chit chatting and going crazy <laughs> let's move into the tutorial So I went ahead and did my brows off camera and primed my lids. Guys, I have my mirror in my lap, so I'll be looking down a lot in this video. Sorry about that. And I'm taking this purplish pink color I got from my James Charles palette. And I'm placing it directly above my crease because I have hooded eyes. So yeah, I like to create my own crease. And I'll be building this color up, packing it in my outer crease area and then dragging it inward. Because that's just how I like it. And I'm going to go in with a smaller brush to blend out the edges of where I put this transition color just to have everything blended and smooth. I like to marry my colors together and I feel like blending is the key to marrying colors. So there I go blending out my edges just making sure I don't have any harsh lines. And I'm using a light pink color from the James Charles palette to blend out the edges. I'll also be going in with a dark brown from the James Charles palette to deepen my crease area. And I'll pack that in my outer crease area and then drag it inward just as I did with my transition color. And I like to build the colors up guys as I said before. So I like to start with a little bit, find out exactly where I need to place it and then I blend it together with my transition color blend out the edges so I go you know in and out with the brushes soon as I put the colors down I like to go back in and ensure everything is blended and smooth and I like to build my colors up as I said before guys I don't go in with a lot of colors at once I just pack the colors on start off small and then build it up to where I want it to be I don't apply any more product to the brush when I'm blending together guys I just go in with the brush and blend because product the product is already on the brush and I don't want the color to be too bright and overwhelming so if I see where I need to add more color I do but I just go in with the brush right off the bat and blend everything together and as soon as I build it up to where I'm comfortable I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and to do that oh, here I go that's it my jam guys just ignore me I need to get it together <laughs> I'll be cutting with the NYX eyelid primer I just got into this product guys I mean it worked very well For my lid color guys, I'm going in with this loose neon green pigment. I got this from Fontana Pharmacy in Jamaica guys. I'll just be packing this onto my lid and pressing that in. I put like two coats on because when I put down the first layer, you'll see some places looks patchy and blotchy. And I mean that happens when you work with loose pigments. So I'll just go in and apply another coat just to have everything really bright.
I'm gonna go ahead and apply my NYX glitter directly to where I cut my crease and I'll also be going in with a neon orange pigment in my inner tear duct area I'm also lining my lids I'm not sure where I got this gel liner from guys I've had it for years and I'm just using this brush from BH Cosmetics along with the liner I'm using the Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip Primer. Guys, this primer, yeah, it's good. I really like it. I was wearing this with makeup all night and it really stayed on. It made my foundation go on smooth. It's not too drying and my skin didn't come off too dry and it's not an overwhelming primer like these primers tend to be. I like it. And yes, I am using the Juvia's Place foundation. Guys, I really like this foundation. It is full coverage and I'm not crazy about full coverage foundations. But this one, I really like it. It stays on all night and it still looks flawless. I guess I don't have oily skin so I don't have to worry about blotting and taking away the oils. So it just stayed exactly where I wanted it to. And yeah, I really like this foundation. I'm using my Holy Grail Concealer, my Tarte Shape Tape. We already know I love this concealer. I've used it in, I think, two of my videos. I'm not sure, but I use this concealer all the time. It just, it's perfect, basically. It's my go-to. I'm just placing this under my eye, guys. I like to really spread this out, apply an even layer and a small bit to my nose. I get my mustache because that needs to go and my laugh line, my chin area and my forehead. I don't need to be preaching guys, you already know the drill.
I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep to set under my eyes and I'm using a small brush just to set it I'm not big on baking under my eyes guys I just leave like a little excess powder there I let it sit and I still go back and dust it away I just really set it and ensure everything is set into place I'm going to be applying a bit of powder directly under where I put my contour just to sharpen it a bit so my face look kind of chilled. I don't use too much powder, just a light film. And I'm going to be using my same two colors from my Tartlet in Bloom palette to contour my cheeks and my forehead. And I'll be doing the same thing for my nose. And I'm using this fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics just to dust away the excess powder off my face. And as I said, I don't let it sit for too long. So as soon as I do my contour, I go back and dust away this color. I'll be using this same brush along with my Maybelline Fit Me face powder just to set the rest of my face and marry everything together. So I like to lightly dust over my contour, my highlight area just to have everything blended together. And I'm using this eye foil or this lid foil, I'm not sure. I got it from Ulta, it's a foil lid topper I think. And I'm just putting that directly over where I put the orange in my inner tear duct area just to give it a bit more oomph. I like to say that word guys. <laughs> I don't know where it came from but I'm just saying it all day. I'm taking the darkest color in the Sophie and Revelation palette and I'm just putting that directly on my brow bone and blending it together with my finger just because that's how I like to blend it. I think my finger just gets everything you know smooth and just the way I like it I also use my finger for other stuff too when it comes on to my face I don't know why if you use your finger go ahead and comment down below so I know that I am not alone and I'm contouring my nose with my two darkest colors from my Tartlet in Bloom palette as I said before and I like to blend this in with my eyebrows guys just to make it look a bit more natural I like to drag it down from the where I start my brows I cannot talk today I don't know what's happening and I really take my time to contour my nose guys because I don't like it to look too dramatic and I'm using my elf brush just to give my face some color <laughs> I'm using this Sophie and Revolution palette to highlight the rest of my face and I'll also be mixing my highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's the same highlighter I always use. I'm going to be linking all the products I use today down below. So if I don't mention it in this voiceover guys, it will be in my description box.
I'm using a lip liner I got from the drugstore to line my lips. I'm not sure what the brand is. And I'm using my Wet n Wild lip gloss that will be linked in my description box down below. Guys, you made it to the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for staying. Go ahead and subscribe if you made it this far. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys once more for the support. Continue to show me love. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.